Kinumpirma ng Global Affairs Canada ang pagkamatay ng ikawalong Canadian sa patuloy na gulo sa Gaza ngayong lunes. Isang rally naman ang nagtipon sa Ottawa bilang suporta sa Israel at nanawagan ng dagdag tulong para sa mga Canadian na may mga kamag-anak na naiipit sa kaguluhan. May report si Teresa Redula. Hindi pa man sumisikat ang araw ngayong lunes. Nagtipon ang libo-libong Jewish community members at sabay-sabay na pumunta sa Ottawa para sa tinatawag na Canada's Rally for the Jewish People. We're here to go up to Ottawa to uh, tell the Canadian government to support Israel. We're alarmed. This is not ordinary times. Uh, whether it's the rise of anti-Semitism we're seeing here, I didn't think I would live at a time where we'd see uh, Jewish schools in Montreal being shot. Libo-libo ang dumalo sa rally bilang pakikiisa sa mga hostages. Nahawak pa rin ng Hamas. Iwanagayway ng marami ang watawat ng Israel. Habang tinatawag pansin ng mga insidente ng anti-Semitism sa bansa. Your presence here today shows the world that Israel and its people, the Jewish people everywhere, are indomitable, especially when we stand Together. Pero para sa ilang Filipino organizations sa Ottawa, may karapatan mang mag ang grupo ngayong lunes. Hindi ito nakalinya sa kanilang advokasya. The bottom line is that our support for Palestinian liberation is based on a shared struggle against imperialism and its refusal to recognize our most basic human rights. So until Palestine is free, we're going to reiterate their calls for liberation. Walang tigil ang mga airstrike ng Israel sa hilaga at timog na bahagi ng Gaza Strip ngayong lunes, kung saan anila nagtatago ang mga lider ng Hamas na mas pinahirap ang paglikas at pagpapasok ng tulong, ayun sa Global Affairs Canada. Hindi kabilang ang sino mang Canadian sa mga nakalikas nitong lunes. Kinumpirma din nilang isang daan na tatlong Canadians, permanent residents at kanilang pamilya ang nakalikas nitong weekend. Nananawagan naman ng NDP sa Ottawa na mas palakisin pa ang pwedeng matulungan ng gobyerno. Canada can bring in a special immigration measure immediately to allow for Canadians and people here in Canada with loved ones. To reunite. Tanging asawa at mga anak, edad 21 pa baba ang pwedeng makapunta sa Canada. Bagay na nais mabago ng maraming Palestinian Canadians. I want to ask the Canadian government, on what ground you, do you define whose lives are qualified to live and whose life are not worth of saving? A phrase that we hear a lot as human rights activists is that no one is free until everyone is free. And in this context, that means that the cost for Palestinian freedom is also a cost for Filipino freedom. Filipinos should care not only out of empathy because we share the same struggles, but because we're also directly affected by what's going on. Our resistance and our fight for freedom is directly connected as well. Nasa isang daan at tatlumput anim na hostages parin ang nananatiling hawak ng Hamas, na halus anim na pung araw na ayun sa Israel. Teresa Redula, Omni News, Toronto.